Okay, so you just downloaded this call sheet template. I want to thank you for downloading that. Let me walk you through this call sheet template because it's a little, uh, it's intense, it's uh, complicated, it has a lot going on, but that's for your benefit. So let me kind of go through everything. Here we go. Okay, so when you first get the document, it's an Excel document. So I made this in Google Sheets. That's my preferred way to do it. So you go to your Google Drive, upload this into a, as, as a file, and then you convert it into a Google Sheets, or you can work in Excel, it's up to you. Not gonna judge, uh, you're not gonna get the cool fonts I got in there, but that's your loss. Okay, so when you go to the first tab, it's the call sheet itself. Okay, and I've got things highlighted in yellow that kind of tells you like, hey, watch out. Uh, some things that are highlighted in yellow are for your benefit or actually like they're pretty typical things that would be highlighted on a call sheet. If you're actually watching this, you're not sure what a call sheet is and maybe this is your first time actually seeing one and working with one. Uh, call sheet is just a one page document for most of the production crew to see what is gonna happen tomorrow and call uh, typically in the film industry just means what time do I show up? Call your call time, what time do you show up to set? And then they'll tell you. So the biggest information on here, name of the production and call time. Cause that's really all people wanna know. They'll get the email the night before the shoot or the day before the shoot or a week before the shoot and they'll see the call sheet and it says call sheet and I just wanna know, do I need to be on set and what time? And if I do, what time do I need to be on set? And then I can go into all the details. First I need to know if, when, and where. So, and the biggest thing you'll, you'll show up, uh, in the dead center, we have name of production, we have call time, and then here we have 9 a.m. And that, this number here is, will link to a lot of things throughout the, the sheet. So set your call time as the big main one. Uh, on the, we'll go to the left side of everything. Top left, we got producer, director, DP, uh, the nearest hospital. So we have the names of everyone involved, the, the leaders, the managers of this production. And we also have the nearest hospital because if something goes wrong on set, we need to know Where's the nearest hospital? So that's important. Uh, going down to the left still, we have first location, and that is important to know. Just like because you can, knowing the second location is important, but you're able to kind of you'll be able to see everyone face to face, so you know you can coordinate that. Uh, so first location, where do I need to be? And then you, uh, and then let's go to the top right. We have the date of the shoot. We have day one of one up there. So how many days is this shoot? Is this the first day of three? Is this the first day of 10? Is this the first day, first day and last day? Is it day one of one? Then we have breakfast, lunch, uh, craft services. Who's providing it? What time is lunch? What time is breakfast? Uh, it's usually, dinner is not usually provided for productions if it's like an all day thing, but it depends. So if you want to edit that and say lunch and dinner or breakfast and dinner or whatever. On the top right sections, we have sunrise, magic hour, magic hour starts, magic hour ends, and sunset. So this is gonna be information for your cinematographer, for your camera team to know when is the sun. If this is an outdoor shoot, we gotta know where the sun is. We gotta know when the sun is rising. And if we're shooting towards the end of the day, or the beginning of the day, we may wanna know what time is magic hour because that looks incredible outside. It looks very nice on the skin tones. It's very beautiful. So some of these links are gonna take you to just a Google search of like what time is the sunrise for tomorrow or what time is the sunrise. Uh, you can simply Google that. Just say sunrise time and then the date and that will tell you. Um, and if you click on the magic hour links right there, that will take you to a sun calculator and it's a very useful tool just for trying to figure out the path of the sun based on your location and you'll understand when is magic hour. So you might need to do a little digging, but you'll find where magic hour is. And I've, you know, Okay, so going down, then we have weather, then we have crew call, cast call. So crew and cast may be a little different. Sometimes, most times the crew needs to show up before the cast does. It's, it's, most of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory, but I just kind of want to walk through everything so that you're not lost. Then we go down. If you're lost, call the producer at this number. Uh, parking situation, truck situation. Okay, and then we have our first scene. So scenes one, two, three, four. It looks like we only have three scenes. Living room, front yard, kitchen. Uh, we have our characters. We have if this is an interior or exterior. We also have is this day or night. And then we have uh, no, total number of pages. How many pages are we covering? This is a typical film uh, call sheet. If this doesn't apply to your production, you don't have to use this. Uh, and then we go down to the next section. 
We have our cast members who is involved in this shoot. Um, you typically number your cast. So by, you know, the, each talent will have a certain number next to them. So in this example, we have Michael is number one, Sarah is number two. So when you see on the call sheet, it says, you know, cast members one and number two, that means you know it's Michael and Sarah. Uh, and those are the cast members, and then there's also the name of the characters. You can do either one. Just be consistent. Don't ch choose the actor's name or choose the character's name. Be consistent. Then we have, you know, start work finished, hold pattern, do they need makeup, uh, what time is their set call. And again, all of this, so don't you don't have to edit any of this stuff because this is going to go into the production breakdown, which is on the next tab. So. Let's go down to the next section, production notes, camera, special equipment, electric, grip, sound, props, wardrobe, hair and makeup, visual effects, other. All of that, again, is linked up to the production breakdown tab. So you don't really have to edit much or add much to the call sheet number one. And just if you're unsure, click on the formula, click on the little box. And if it's already filled out and it says something like equal production breakdown or it says something like it already has some information filled in, it's a formula, you don't have to edit it. Just, just hold off for a second. And then we go down to the very bottom, and this is crew position. So you see everyone's, so sometimes different crew members may need to show up later, earlier, depends, it depends on the shoot. Uh, and, this, and this is also a place to find everyone who is involved in the project, in case you forget someone's name, and it also has their contact number in case they're lost, or they sleep in, or something happens to them. Okay, so that's page one, that's call sheet. Let's go on to the page two, which is production breakdown. So production breakdown, again, this is self-explanatory, a lot of it, but this is where you actually start to fill out information. So in your, so starting with, oh, I forgot to mention one more thing on the front page that the name of the production, you fill that out. Then you go to the production breakdown, that will have already been auto-filled. Scene name is already auto-filled. Number of pages is auto-filled. It all starts to add up. Uh, your shoot date, a lot of this stuff kind of is so what, the things you do fill out on the call sheet show up on the production breakdown, and then the things that you need to fill out on the production breakdown will populate on the call sheet. So camera, special equipment, casual wear, you know, or, or props, breakdown, cast members, scene descriptions, how many scenes, how many pages, indoor, outdoor, all that information is something you would put here. So really, you want to start on the call sheet when you're working in this document. Start at the very top of the call sheet. And then once you're done with that information, quickly move on to the production breakdown. And this is where you're going to break down the entire video. So you have all that information. Then we move on to page three, which is the equipment list. And this is just all the equipment that you have. It's a great way for cinematographers, grip, uh, electric, audio, for everyone to kind of know uh, what is the gear checklist, number of items, number of pieces. Um, you could even go crazy and add the serial numbers to all this if you want to really make sure. Um, I have highlighted on here in yellow things that are rental, so if it's not highlighted then it's something that the production already owns. Moving on to the fourth page, which is the shot list. This is for your cinematographer, director, first AD. This is to understand, uh, based on each scene, what shots you need. So I've got each. Each column is laid out, scene one, shot one, location, shot, nickname, which will help you because uh, it's hard to remember sometimes like shot 1.1 and 1.2. Shot type, camera angle, is it high or low? Uh, camera movement, is it static, is it moving, is it dolly, is it sliding, uh, is it shaky? Uh, equipment, what equipment do we need to achieve this camera movement? And then of course the shot description, just kind of a brief phrasing, one or two sentences uh, explaining like what is it shot? Uh, and then finally on the right is characters. Who's involved in this shot? Is there anybody involved in this shot? Is this an establishing shot? Or is it, or do we need a certain, which character do we need in this shot? And in this, you just go by scene by scene. So you go scene one, one, and then you do a shot. So if there's only one shot in the scene, you do one. When you start a new scene, you reset the shot numbers. So if there's five shots in scene one, it's one, uh, it's 1.1, 1 .1, yeah, or, or you can do 1.0, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 4, 5, and then when you start scene 2, the number resets. So it goes then to 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. That way, you kind of keep everything clear. So when they hit that slate, you know that this is shot 2.1, and you and then you can look on the shot list and scratch that off. It's, the shot list is a great way, it's sort of like your, your checklist for, did we get all the shots that we needed? Yes, 2.1, check, 2.2, check.
This is a great way to, uh, the cinematographer or director can step in on this shot list. Uh, this is an easy way to, and you know, maybe the director doesn't know the camera angles, the, doesn't necessarily know what equipment is needed to achieve this camera movement, uh, but he's able to at least put it on the table and show you, the, show the cinematographer what they want, what they're looking for, what the shots are going to look like in word form quickly, what does the shot look like. So this helps a lot. So then we move on to the strip board. Now the strip board is, uh, what you're gonna do in the strip board is you're gonna take your shot list and then depending on what, uh, if you completely filled it out or if you just wanna do one scene or three, you know, all the scenes, you copy your shot list and you come over to the strip board and you paste the shot list onto the strip board. Now it's gonna be in order of the scenes, some scene one, two, and three, but as you know, in filmmaking, you don't shoot in order. You rarely shoot in order. You shoot out of order. Uh, you do, you like, you're not you're usually shooting scenes one, then scenes two, then scenes three. Um, so, what the, so what a strip board does is it takes all the shots and just makes them, imagine like little strips of paper, and then you're able to kind of rearrange in order of the shooting schedule, and you're able to say like, okay, we want to do scene two first, and we're going to do scene 2.1 as a start. And then we're going to go to scene 3 and shoot 3.1. 3, and then you're going to change it up and do like 3.5, 3.2. You may even do, uh, so you're going to do typical coverage. So maybe shot 1.1 was the close up and 1.2 was a wide. You may want to do the wide first. So you may do 1.2 first and then 1.1. Uh, and what that does. So this is more of a tool for your cinematographer, or this is a, more of a tool for your producer and first AD so they can start to schedule the day of production on the call sheet. Yes, you the cinematographer know uh, what you need to do, but now you're able to kind of put it in order and make sure every shot is taken care of. Uh, I've also put in a color code system because in strip boards there's a color code system based on is it day interior, day exterior, night interior and night exterior. So you're able to at a glance look at the colors of the strip board and say, oh wow, we have a lot of night indoor shoots or we have like a lot of day exterior shoots. So it's, it's quick information, it's quick. Okay, finally, we get to the last page and that's the prop, props list. So self-explanatory, you have your props, item name, you go over to the next column, props and supply. Is this a property or is this supply? So, you know, is this, uh, do we need duct tape for this shoot? Is the, you know it's a uh, it's a kitchen it's a kitchen scene. So we're gonna have a cutting board, a kitchen knife, and an apple. She's cutting an apple. Uh, cutting board is that supplies or is that part of the scene? If it's in the scene, it's a prop. If it's used outside of the scene and not being videotaped or filmed, it's probably supplies. So so know that item description quantity. Uh, do we have it? Yes or no. Maybe your production company already has this certain property. You have this laying around and then the link if you want to put an Amazon link or some kind of shopping link on there. You do what you want. This is your, this is your production. You got this. Okay. So you have all that. Then you go back to call sheet, the first page, first tab, and you're able to just select this, print it out, make it fit to the page and then you download that as a PDF and you distribute that to your production team or everyone involved and they're happy because now they know exactly what the hell to do tomorrow. Uh, wh what time do I gotta be there? So it's, uh, you're not having to answer every question. Yes, call time is this time tomorrow. Do like, just understand all that. So that in a nutshell is a very in-depth explanation of the call sheet and understanding where it goes. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I uh, hope you enjoy this call sheet. Make it your own if you want to. Uh, you know, make copies of it. Send it to your friends. Send it to your other producer friends. Uh, yeah, have fun with it. Whatever. Whatever you want to do, I encourage you to uh, expand on this. So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Jordan Anderson. And be sure to subscribe. And we will see you next time on the show. I gotta stop drinking these before I record videos. I'm just kidding. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this explained the call sheet, and we'll see you soon.